Thank you. The chair recognizes Ms. Jenkins. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you all for joining us. Ambassador Sapiro, with nearly six and a half million cattle on ranches and in feed yards in my home state of Kansas, we rank second in the nation in beef production. At home, the cattle outnumber the people uh, by more than two to one. And the beef industry generated more than five and a half billion dollars in cash receipts in 2009. And with all due respect to the chairman, I think in Kansas we have the best beef in the world. We just can't eat it all ourselves. Uh, there is no doubt that lowering Colombian tariffs on U.S. agriculture products will greatly help our farmers and ranchers. However, the Colombian agreement would also address sanitary and phytosanitary barriers to agriculture trade. So it appears that this will make it easier to sell Kansas beef to our friends in Colombia. But could you please explain for us uh, first how the agreement addresses these barriers, and second, how resolving these barriers in other agreements have helped America's farmers and ranchers, and then finally, do you expect similar results in this case? Thank you, Congresswoman. The simple answer is yes. We are confident that this agreement will be of great value to our farmers and our ranchers. It does address SPS issues. It does address the tariff question. And just as our other trade agreements have benefited U.S. exporters across the board, including agricultural commodities and especially beef, we do believe that this agreement, once it is in force, in other words, once we have been able to address the issues that I outlined earlier, then we will be able to present it to you immediately at, thereafter and look forward to your positive consideration of it. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I would yield back. Thank you. The Chair recognizes Mr. Crowley. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and happy St. Patrick's Day to you, my friend from Texas. No St. Patrick's Day back to me? Absolutely. Thank you very much. It's like, you know, a little Singing out of my heart, Mr. What has happened to comedy around here? <laughs> um, let me thank you, uh, the witnesses, for being here today. Let me just go back to what uh, my 